A new report from the Seattle alternative newspaper The Stranger is shedding new light on Spokane's February special election. It looks at how online advertisements may have broken campaign laws. Ian Smay explains what happened. The Stranger in Seattle is reporting that a group in favor of the Spokane public safety levy that passed in February special election used banned Google ads in their campaign. Here's what happened. A group called Yes for Public Safety bought $4,665 worth of ads targeted toward internet users, including ones over the age of 45. These types of ads targeted toward local elections are banned by Washington state law. The public safety levy passed in Spokane with 64% of the vote. According to a complaint filed against Google, the political group bought ads that could have appeared over one million times online. So what did Google allegedly do wrong? Well, the complaint says Google violated a state election law that requires any group selling local political ads to be able to release information on the ads to the public within 24 hours after the ad first appears online. The complaint claims Google allegedly violated this law when they took two days to respond to an email requesting information on the ads by simply saying they were looking into it. Google has a response. The company says it did nothing wrong. Here's their explanation. Google says it doesn't let group buy political ads in Washington, and the company has filters and other blockers that should keep these ad sales from going through. Because of this, Google says the disclosure rule doesn't apply. Google said the Yes for Public Safety ads somehow got around the online filters, and the company wasn't aware of the issue until the newspaper reporter contacted them. Washington State has not made a final decision on the complaint against Google. You can find more details on this story on our website at krem.com. Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.